I'm very pleased to join West Africa's uh, finest professionals in infrastructure and finance here this morning for this very important workshop. PPPs in infrastructure development in our countries are simply practical wisdom. Governments evidently lack the resources to solely finance, build, and manage public infrastructure. So the way out is PPPs. And our Infrastructure Concession and Regulatory Commission has since its inauguration taken over about 55 PPP projects all over the country. Besides, there are several well-known uh, PPP projects, including the uh, Murtala Mohammed uh, Airport, the uh, two, Garki Hospital here in Abuja, the Kainji, Jeba, Shiroro hydroelectric power projects, and about 25 terminals concessioned to private operators. But managing these PPPs uh, through stakeholder management, performance monitoring, refinancing, renegotiation, and dispute resolution is probably as crucial for governments as the PPPs themselves. So similarly, we, if we discount the centrality of risk allocation in PPP contracts, we do so at our own peril. Indeed, the correct application of risk allocation principles in infrastructure projects is fundamental to bankability and the long-term viability of those projects. So we must commend the Global Infrastructure Hub for developing these tools, the PPP risk allocation and PPP contract management tools and for dedicating this workshop to the dissemination of the tools for our sub-region. And this is important. The public sector in most developing economies, especially in our own sub-region, simply lack the necessary skills and tools to effectively manage PPP contracts. So drawing up these contract management tools and the annotated set of risk matrices demonstrating the successful allocation of risks between public and private parties in PPP transactions is a great service to the public sector parties in all of our countries. The participation of top international law firms, finance practitioners, and the multilateral development banks with the hub in this endeavor is greatly, uh, it, it greatly enhances the usefulness and the worth of, of these tools. It, I think, also demonstrates the new approach to doing business in a globalized environment, the key being collaboration. Time was when the better resourced uh, private sector looked to gain the public sector in PPPs. Usually such victories are pyrrhic, if they can only be described as victories at all. One more failed PPP, one more failed, uh, one more failed project. But this new approach, where the parties are helped, to adopt best practices in drafting and management of PPP contracts is a win-win for everyone. The admitted focus of the tools uh, are on economic infrastructure, and I think that all of the reports you will read show that the tools focus on economic infrastructure projects to the exclusion of social infra infrastructure. And I, I venture to say that uh, there is a need for us to discuss this even further, especially because of the increasing large numbers of public projects that are in the nature of social infrastructure projects, projects in health, projects in education. And their peculiarities would benefit greatly from extending the work of the tools to them. Also, I, we, must all, we must ask uh, some of what has been excluded from uh, these tools, and excluded, of course, because of the very nature of the tools. You know. uh, the current iteration of the tools uh, do not, of course, include risks, uh, especially those that cannot be uh, included in concession of project agreements. For example, government procurement risks, uh, third-party risks, delays, etc., and some of the specific risks that arise from unsolicited projects. So I think that you know uh, how to advise on this and how you know maybe. Uh, later iterations of the tool may be able to focus on some of these types of risks will be helpful indeed. It is clear that the use of these uh, contract management and risk assessment tools will further strengthen transparency and accountability in the Nigerian PPP environment, following up especially on the ICRC's earlier deployment of the PPP web disclosure portal. I'm sure that um, we'll all get a chance to uh, be given more details about that portal. 
The extent of project information disclosure will also stimulate investor interest significantly. All of these efforts at improving transparency will provide more assurance to our people as they can now monitor the progress and implementation of PP project, PPP projects in the country. So let me thank the Global Infrastructure Hub for the choice of Nigeria as the venue of this uh, first of its kind uh, workshop. And also thank the law firms of uh, Norton Rose, Fulbright, and Dolan Mwajai. And of course our very uh, dynamic ICRC for the hard work that has gone into the planning and execution of this workshop. Uh, the, I, I, we're also uh, very we're also informed today that the DG ICRC is soon to be confirmed by, uh, by, by our own by by our born again uh, Senate. <laughs> uh, on this note, it is my pleasure to officially open the Joint West African Regional Global Infrastructure Hub, PPP Risk Allocation, and PPP Contract Management Tools Dissemination Workshop. Thank you very much.